First, I want to say welcome. Welcome to the headquarters of the Libertarian National Committee. This is... This is a dream of a lot of people. And I have to recognize the people who, who have given so much to build this headquarters. All of our donors who have given so much to build this headquarters. Um, we recognize them, we have plaques around. Uh, Gary Johnson from the Libertarian National Committee. Um, Elizabeth Nolan is here somewhere. Uh, the headquarters is named after her late husband. These are the people who built this party. These are the people who are important to this party. And what I wanted to tell you is this. First, thank you. Thank you to the staff. Thank you to all the supporters. Thank you to the donors. Without you, we're nothing. And with you, we are a major political party. What this headquarters says is that we are not going away. We are not getting off the political scene. We are not renters. We are owners. We have moved into your political neighborhood, and we are here to stay. Yeah. Yeah. I told this to the National Committee earlier today, and I want to tell it to you, the supporters of the Libertarian Party. When I say we're here to stay, we have a commitment that when we get candidates on the ballot, we don't just get them on the ballot. We're going to commit to make sure they stay on the ballot, because the old parties will cheat with both hands, violate the law, violate our rights, send armed people to intimidate our petition signers to try and kick us off the ballot. And that will not fly. If they mess with us, we mess with them. If they fight us, we fight them. That is how it's going to be. Because we're going to follow through, and we're never going to give up, and we're here to stay. One of the unofficial symbols of the Libertarian Party is the porcupine. It's a cute animal. It's a cuddly animal. It's, it's nice. But when you hit a porcupine, it hurts. And what we're going to tell the old parties is when you hit this porcupine, it's going to hurt. Our gubernatorial candidate in Nebraska, Mark Elworth, sued the, secretary, the Republican Secretary of State to make him follow the law because he decided the law didn't matter when his Republican political crony needed some help. And we got more press that said our candidate, Mark Elworth Jr., libertarian candidate for governor, all across the national AP wire, every Nebraska outlet, and he's appealing that case right now to the Nebraska Supreme Court and getting even more press. What we are going to tell them is this. If you fight the Libertarian Party, we will fight back. And when we fight back, it will cost you more to fight us than you can imagine. You can't give us better press than fighting with us. And so my commitment to you as chair, to all the candidates, to all of the donors, is that as long as I'm your chair, we will fight and we will win. And we will win not just because we're committed to follow through in supporting our candidates, supporting our affiliates, supporting our activists, supporting our donors, but because we are the only serious political party in this country. Other parties will lie to you about what they're going to do for you. Republicans will lie to you about cutting government. Democrats will lie to you about protecting your civil liberties. It's not true. It's a lie. And libertarian candidates are going out there around this country and putting the lie to the old parties. Because our candidates are committed. We are going to cut government, and cutting government is going to advance liberty. And our candidates are specific. You can hold us to it. If you elect me, I will end the war on drugs. If you elect me, I will not get us involved in another war in Syria or Iraq. These are the things I will do to get government out, to increase liberty, and to make your life better. That is our commitment. We are the only party who is serious about this. We are the only party who means it. The old parties are dead. They're gut shot. They're bleeding out, and they don't know they're dead yet, but they will. <laughs> the
Libertarian Party, with this building, is making a statement. We're not going anywhere. And you better get used to it, and if you punch a porcupine, it's going to hurt. <laughs> now, what I want you to know is we're so serious about it, we actually have libertarians willing to serve in government to show people what it's like when you have a libertarian in government. I want to recognize Tyler Brown, member of the Occoquan City Council. Yeah. Yeah. First off, thanks everybody for coming out. I know it's, it's not my building, it's a Libertarian Party's building, but this is just, it's, it's beautiful, it's all coming together. We own a building here in Alexandria, which is right down the street from my job and my home, so I like that. But <laughs> either way, um, I think that this is, this is a great showing for the future of the party, and I think that with our permanence here, it's going to be great for the future. for public office who are here tonight, who took time out of their busy campaign schedule to show that this means something to them, that they're committed to this cause. Candidates like Jeffrey Carson, running for Congress. Yeah. Virginia's eighth district right here. This is his district. And one of the things, just to show what I mean when I say we're not going away and we support our candidates, we have basement space that we haven't started using yet. And I got a call that said, you know, Jeffrey Carson wants to phone bank, to call voters, to try and increase vote totals, to put that libertarian message out there. He needs space. Can he use our basement? And people were worried. Well, is this going to be controversial? I don't care. We're a political party that runs political candidates, and we have free space. We're going to take the opportunities that we have, and we're going to commit to doing whatever we can to help our candidates, to help our activists, and to build this party. I want to thank Leo Domowski, um, Head for Attorney General in Maryland. John Cook, Manager for I want to thank all of you. I want to thank every libertarian and every libertarian out there who's not a libertarian yet. Because if you want to advance human freedom, if you want, if you believe in freedom and liberty, and you understand that nothing good has ever come from government, Government only slows us down, and that the way to have a better life, a better society, a better world for you and your children. I only have two right now, but I'm having a third. <laughs> That's why I do this, because the only way that we build a better world for our children is we get government out of the way so that human beings can be free, so that they can help each other, so that they can do the amazing things that people do when you just take away their barriers. And that's what we're committed to as a party. That's what I'm committed to as your chair. That's what the National Committee is committed to as your governing body. That's what your candidates are committed to. That's what your activists are committed to. That's what every one of you donors is committed to and every libertarian voter is committed to. So thank you. Thank you.